Welcome back to the Python tutorial series. I'm so glad you're here. Today, we will learn how to automatically log into websites using Python. So let's get started. In order to access the internet using Python, we need to install a Chrome driver and we'll do it on this website, which is linked below. And then I'll click on latest stable release and then you can download it for your operating system and it will download as a zip file then you will need to unzip it and then copy the file path of the unzipped file once we do that we can start writing code so i created a file called website auto login.py and here on line three it has file path for my chrome driver i'm going to also be using selenium in order to access the internet so if you don't already have selenium installed just type the command pip install selenium and it will install today we'll be entering a fake username and password into this website to show you how it looks so i'm going to copy the link then i'm going to go back to the code and i'll create a variable called url and i'll set it equal to the link I'm then going to create a variable called username and I'll just set that equal to a fake username, let's say user, and then password to a fake password, let's just say pass123. I'm then going to create a variable called driver and set that equal to webdriver.chrome because I'm going to be using Google Chrome and then I'm going to want to pass in the file path where we had a Chrome driver and it's here so I'll just copy and paste it here then I want to go to the website so I'll say driver.git and pass in the URL the first time you go to the website it might ask you to authorize Chrome driver and on Mac you need to quarantine it which just means to make sure it's safe so I'm line one here I'll, i have the quarantine command and i'll paste this in the description below now i'll run it and it takes us to the website so it successfully launched the website and we haven't put anything in the username or password yet but we got to the landing page so it's working so far so the next thing is the username we want to see how to get here so i right click on username and i hit inspect and we see here in the input type for username has a name of username and the input type for password has a name password so let's go to the code and automatically input that jumping back to the code i'm gonna say driver dot find element by name and it's by name because in html it had name equal to username so the name is username and then we're going to want to send data so we'll do it dot send keys and then we're going to want to pass in the data so we'll say username and that will pass in users now i'm going to copy this line and do the same thing for the password now when i run this it should enter the username and password so now it's going to the website and passing in a user for the username and pass one two three for the password so we successfully got here now all we need to do is hit the login button i'm gonna hit it now just to see where it goes and i'll do this and it takes us to example.com so i'm gonna go back and then i'll right click on login to inspect the element for the login and we see here that the input type is equal to submit but it's not a name anymore it's a value so in order to access this we're gonna have to go to the css here we have input type equals submit so I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to go back to the code and we're going to use it there. This time we're going to do driver dot find element by CSS selector. Then I'll pass in the string. Inside the string it has 
quotes which we want to keep inside the string. So I'll do backslashes which are escape characters so they are still part of the string. Then I want to click on the login button. So I'll just do dot click and open and close parenthesis. Now when I run this, this should work and click on the button and let's try this. And here's it's opening the web page and it successfully logged in. Now let's try to log into a real website. I created a file called facebooklogin.py and I'm gonna enter a fake username and password and now it's gonna run and open Facebook. I'm then gonna want to inspect the element for the email, email and password, as well as login. And this time I'm gonna use ID for a change and we see that's equal to email. I'll check for password next. I'll inspect password and the ID is pass. And finally I'll inspect for the login button. And the ID is this u underscore zero underscore d underscore n s. Now jumping back to the code, I'm gonna say driver dot find element by ID and the username had an ID of email and then I'm gonna say dot send keys and then we're gonna pass in the username. Then I'm gonna say driver dot find element by ID pass for the password then dot send keys password. And finally I'm gonna do driver dot find element by ID. This is for the login button. Then I'm gonna do dot click. And now when I run this it should enter the username and password. And there we go. But it didn't hit the login button because Facebook changes the ID for the login button every single time. But it does have a name of login. So let's try to do find element by name instead. The name is login. So now let's try this. And now I'm running it and we'll see if it works. And there we go. It is logging in. And as you see here, it did not work. And make sure whenever you're using Python to log into websites that you're using it ethically. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow along with this video series by subscribing and hitting the notification bell or by clicking on the next video so that you can expand your knowledge about Python. And as always, I can't wait to see you next time.